up, Alan Cooking viewers? Today we are filming Snook. We are in a beautiful location with the sea behind us. I'm really excited about this episode. Um, yeah, Snook is commonly known as Barracuda in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, it's an oily fish. Looking really forward to showing you this one. So we're going to be cooking our Snook today on the fire. And uh, before any further, I'm going to get a coffee on the brew. Early morning coffee's on the go. Without any further ado, let's get the fire going. Um, I've got a Roy Kranz wood here. Um, we've made a nice little fireplace here. And uh, we're gonna get that on the go now. So I like to just stack my wood up at a, like a chimney form. Um, and I've got some fire lighters here to help start the fire. run through the ingredients for our snook. We're going to make up a nice marinade today. So we have some apricot jam. That's kind of a traditional um, sweet base that we use for our, our marinade. Um, diced onion and we've got some garlic, lots of garlic in the marinade, salt and pepper and then I like to put a bit of turmeric in there. Right, so we're going to get our onions chopped up and our garlic. As I said, that forms a part of the base of the marinade. So just a fine chop for your onions. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these onions fried off All right, and then our garlic, let's get that chopped up. So let's get our onions sauteed off quickly. So a little bit of olive oil in the pan. So in go our onions and garlic. As I said, it's just a light saute. It doesn't need to be cooked off too much just to take the sting out of the onion. Right, so we're just going to add all our ingredients together. So we've got our onion, which we've sauteed off. So in that goes to our bowl. Okay. And then the apricot jam, which I mentioned earlier. And we've got to give this all a good mix together in a sec. We've got some turmeric. Salt and pepper. Okay, and then we're just going to give that a good whisk together. You'll see there the marinade's quite wet. You don't want to add any more liquid to that because we want it to stick to the fish. Here we have our snook. As you can see, this is a beautiful piece of fish. We're going to lather it up with a bit of marinade now. You can actually do this the night before. It's even better. Um, that allows the marinade to obviously kind of really soak into the, the flesh of the fish. You just want to give that a good brush all over. You can do both sides as well if you just turn it over. Get the rest of that marinade on top. So the apricot jam sort of caramelizes when it cooks and creates this lovely flavor as well. Okay, so there we have it. Right, so we're gonna make up a mayonnaise to go with our snook today. So the ingredients for the mayonnaise, we've got some egg yolks here, uh, some, some cooking oil, some mustard, and some apple cider vinegar. Okay, so all you need to do is get your egg yolks in the bowl. Give it a whisk up. Um, you want a splash of splash of vinegar and whisk that all together. There's three core ingredients for a good mayonnaise or any mayonnaise. Uh, that's your oil, the acid ingredient which is the vinegar and your egg yolks which helps emulsify it to give it a bit of creamy texture. Right so as you whisk now very slowly add your oil. You want to do it very slowly otherwise you'll end up splitting your mayonnaise. Okay, so we're gonna get our snook on the fire now. Coals are nicely ready. You hold your hand there for three seconds and it, you can just about manage that, then you know it's ready. So 
let's grab our snook here. I've got a nice grill that you can kind of open and close and then it clamps it all together. It's quite useful. Okay, so let's grab the snook. Oh, wow, look at that. And skin side down, guys. Always to start. And let's just clamp that together quickly. We're going to let that sit there for probably take about five minutes this side. We're going to turn it over and give it another couple of minutes and it should be done. Um, I normally cook my fish skin side down. It sort of acts as a, a barrier between that and the flesh, so it keeps it nice and moist. Okay, let's have a quick look at the snook. Um, it's been on there for about three minutes now. Uh, depending on how hot your coals are, we'll decide how quick it's going to cook through. Uh, my coals are quite moderate, so it's going to take a little bit longer, but let's have a look quickly and see where it's, where it's at. You want a nice caramelized color underneath. Okay, so yeah, it's not far off. So let's give that another couple of minutes and we're going to flip it over and then it should be done. Right, so we're going to make a nice slaw up um, as an addition to our dish today. So I've got some red cabbage, a bit of pepper, red pepper, some carrots, some courgettes, a little bit of parsley. Just nice, sort of vibrant, fresh note to the snook. So you just want to kind of shred your cabbage. The finer the better for this particular salad. And we're going to peel up our carrot. And then I'm just going to do some nice sort of julienne pieces of carrot. Okay, and we're going to get some courgette peeled up as well for our, our slaw. So some nice sort of peeled ribbons always work well with this. Okay, and then we're going to get some red pepper diced up. So that can go in as well. And then a nice drizzle of olive oil and a splash of acidity in there. You could use lemon juice or vinegar. And some salt, of course. Just keeping it really simple. Give it a bit of a mix together. And there you have it. Right, so I think the fish is uh, pretty much ready to turn around. So if we have a look here. As you can see, it's nicely colored on the skin side. And uh, we're gonna give it a couple of minutes now flesh side down and then it'll be perfect. Right, so the snook is ready. Check this out. So it's looking beautiful. We've got some beautiful color on the side, on the skin side. And as I said, it doesn't matter if it's uh, colored up quite a lot. It almost looks like it's caught a bit, but that's perfect. Okay, so now for the plating. So we've got our beautiful snook here. And uh, I'm just gonna take the grill off like, like this. Sometimes it gets a little bit stuck and just give it a bit of a knock. There you go. And I'm just going to put that back on the fire so that I have a chance to kind of pick at it. Right, so this is the best part right here. And you can see that just flaking off. So as you can see, snook is quite bony, but they're big bones, so you can easily just pull them out. Um, there's no kind of finicky small bones and snooks, so quite easy to, to handle and to eat. So on that goes, there you go. And then a, a nice bit of slaw that we made up earlier. <laughs> Look at the color that brings to the dish, it's beautiful. Okay, so and we have to finish off our plating, we've got some sweet potato here. Uh, in South Africa we call it soup potato, and the reason why we call it that is because uh, it's very sweet. We use sugar and, and cinnamon in it, a bit of butter, and I cooked this out last night just to have a nice sort of addition to the dish. So on goes a little bit of mayonnaise. So I'm just going to drizzle that over. Look at that. And there we have it. Snook with soup patat and... Right, that's it for this episode. And I hope you've enjoyed it, guys, as much as I have. Please feel free to leave your comments, hit the like button, or even better, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time. How does it taste? Mm. It's very good. Very good. Yeah. yeah.